Hey guys, welcome to Geo Mutsuku. In today's video, we are covering the topic of types of rainfall. Now we have three types of rainfall. We have the relief or orographic rainfall. Number two, we have the convection or convectional rainfall. And last, we have the frontal or cyclonic rainfall. Now let's start with the first one, our relief or orographic rainfall. This one occurs in mountainous areas, right? areas where there is mountains and we have one side of the mountain which is in contact with the ocean the other side is in contact with the land and one thing you must know is that the ocean carries a lot of moisture the ocean is moist while the land is dry right so on this side of the mountain which is in contact with the ocean we are going to have moist air moist air blowing towards the mountain but since this air cannot penetrate or go through the mountain, it is going to be forced to rise against the mountain. Now this side of the mountain where we have air rising is known as our windward side. As our wind what? As our windward side of the mountain, right? We have moist air from the ocean which rises against the windward side of the mountain. Right? So once this moist air rises, we are going to have the triple C triple c r triple c r the warm moisture rises and then it is going to cool the first first c is for cool the second c is for condense so it is going to cool condense and form clouds and then the clouds will bring about the rainfall so once our moist air rises against the mountain, it is going to cool and condense to form clouds, to form clouds. And clouds will bring about the air, the rainfall. The rainfall. Let me throw my rainfall there. So one more time, one more time. Moist air from the ocean rises against the windward side of the mountain. As it rises, it is going to cool and condense to form clouds. And clouds will bring about the rainfall on the windward side of the mountain, right? That's how relief or orographic rainfall happens. It happens on the windward side of the mountain. Now, the remaining air after cloud formation and precipitation will go on this side of the mountain. It will descend or sink on this side of the mountain. So the remaining air is dry and this dry air sinks or descends on the leeward side, on the leeward side of the mountain, on the leeward side of the mountain. Rainfall happens on the windward side, right? When moisture from the ocean rises against the mountain, as it rises, it cools and condenses to form clouds and clouds bring about the rainfall, right? But on the leeward side, the remaining air goes this side is dry air. It is dry air. The second type of rainfall is the convectional rainfall. Convectional rainfall. Now, convection refers to the vertical movement of heat, right? When a warm air rises, it goes up, right? That's a vertical movement of heat, convection, right? This one happens where there is high temperatures. Where there is what? High temperatures right so it is common in summer where there is what high temperature so let me throw the sun this is the, the surface for this one to occur it happens when there's high temperature so the sun will strike a surface it strikes what the surface right so if the surface heats up the air in contact or around this surface it will be moist it will also warm up right because the surface heated up so the air around it will also warm up right so we'll end up getting moist air above the surface and then that moist air is going to rise it is going to rise and once moist air rises we have we now have the triple c r the triple c r that warm moist air is going to rise cool and point dense to form clouds and clouds bring about the rainfall so for this 
this one it happens when there's high temperatures or intense heating of the surface right the surface heats up the ground heats up and then the air in contact with it will be warm and moist right once that air is warm or moist it is going to rise right when it rises it is going to cool and condense to form clouds to form clouds and clouds will bring about the rainfall now this is convection rainfall this is the type of rainfall which is common in Gauteng in Gauteng the province of Gauteng right so the sun heats up the surface then the air in contact with the surface will also warm up right and become moist once it's warm and moist it's going to rise and then when it rises it will cool and condense to form clouds and clouds bring about the rainfall right we get this type of rainfall mainly in summer right because it requires high temperatures right if the sun was to strike uh let's let's use an ocean now right let's say the sun now strikes an ocean right the process is still the same the sun will strike um an ocean now when it strikes an ocean the water will turn into water vapor it will evaporate evaporation will take place right uh, water will turn into water vapor right it will give us moist air warm moist air and then that moist air will also rise when it rises we know we have the triple c r to cool and condense to form clouds and clouds will bring about the rainfall so the, pro the process is the same right in this in this case when there's a body of water it will strike the water and the water will evaporate right to give us the moist air the moist air will rise to form clouds and clouds will bring about what rainfall this is the second type of convection or convectional what rainfall the third type of rainfall is known as the frontal or the cyclonic rainfall the reason why it's called the frontal is because we have a presence we have the presence of two fronts right two fronts this line with triangles represents something known as a cold front. The line of semicircles represents a warm front. A warm front. Right? Now, a front is a boundary between two MSs of different moisture content. Right? Behind the cold front, we have cold air. We have cold air. Behind the warm front, we have warm air. We have warm what? A, right so a front is basically a boundary between two air masses right of different moisture on this side we have warm air on this side we have cold air so we have two we have two fronts a cold front and a warm front hence it is known as the frontal rainfall right this entire weather system this entire thing now with, with both fronts is known as a mid latitude cyclone it's a cyclone that's so that's why it's also known as the cyclonic rainfall cyclonic rainfall now with this type of rainfall you must know that it occurs in winter right it affects south africa in winter now this is how it happens uh let me draw south africa here and then here the weather system cold front and then we have a warm front right it affects the southwestern cape or cape town right it affects the southwestern cape now, when this cold front approaches, remember, I told you guys, behind the cold front, we have cold air. We have what? Cold air. And then behind the warm front, we have warm air. And one, one thing you must know about cold air and dry, sorry, and warm air is that warm, moist air rises. Warm, moist air rises. And then our cold dry air sinks it sinks now this cold air behind our cold front will sink it will sink cold dry air is very heavy and dense so it sinks now when it sinks it undercuts it undercuts or it pushes the warm air to rise more rapidly right so this is how it happens cold dry air sinks our cold dry air See, now as it sinks, it is going to undercut or push the warm air to rise. And we know that when the warm air now rises, we have our triple CP, triple C, 
not P, R. Let's use R instead of P, right? And we have triple C, R. It is going to cool and condense to form clouds. To form clouds. And clouds will bring about the rainfall. Clouds will bring about the rainfall.